Hello, it's Scott here from Lucid Press. Today we're going to be learning about how to make a simple infographic in Lucid Press. To get started, you're going to need to have a Lucid Press account. If you don't have one already, you can sign up for free from our homepage. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to be making an infographic about how to jumpstart your day. So the first thing we can do is just go ahead and drag in the headline. And I can do that by just selecting the text panel on the left. And then I want to modify this text. So I can center it. And then I can change the font up here on the right by searching for League Gothic. That's one of my favorites. I want it to be in all caps. So I can select all caps there. And then I want to make sure it's centered on the page. There we go. I want to have a background for it. So I can drag in a shape from the Shapes menu. I want to have a fun yellow color to show that it's the morning, the sun is rising. Let's boost the size and then close up the leading a little bit. Now for each section in this infographic, I'm going to have a subheading and a block of text. Now this is way too much lorem ipsum, so I'm going to cut it down. Okay, so I cut out the extra lorem ipsum, then I'm going to customize it so that it's an open sans, a great free font. The subhead I want to be bold, and 24 is too big, so I'll make it 16. It's a little wide for my use, so I'll narrow the text box. Now I want these, these different steps about how to jumpstart your day to run back and forth on each side of the page, if that makes sense. I'll go ahead and duplicate these. I'm only going to have five steps to jumpstart your day, so I only need five of these. And then I'll fill them in with the different steps for your morning. All right, so those are five good steps. Now, I'm going to rearrange them so they work better for my design. You can see how the steps now are kind of going down the center spine of the infographic. So I'm going to grab a line to kind of show a timeline for the day, drag it out. I'm rearranging all the blocks of text. They're about the right distance apart, but I want to make sure they're perfectly spaced. So under the layout panel, I can automatically space them so they're all the same distance apart. And then I want to go in and add icons. So I pre-selected some icons here for each of the five sections. Okay, so I'm going to add some new styles to this line down the middle. Change the color to that same yellow. Let's see, the lines are, I feel like the dashes are too big. So I'm actually going to go in and choose smaller dashes. There we go, that's better. At the bottom, I'm going to have another subheading to motivate you to get out there and seize the day. Again, I want to change it to Open Sans, Bold, and in this case, I'm going to do something a little different. It's going to be all caps, and I'm going to track the letters out. Oh, extra bold, actually. And then character spacing, I can boost that up to 150%, and then make sure I center it on the page. A little too big, let's make it 16 point. Perfect. Now, I want a block of color at the footer also, just like at the top. So I'll drag in another square, size it. Again, use Command Left Bracket to move it behind the text. Change it to that yellow, get rid of the border. That's looking pretty good. Let's add a little more graphic detail. So at the, at the top, let's see if we can make it look like a sun is rising instead of just having a yellow block. So I'm going to come in and bring a white circle 
put it at 15% opacity, make sure it's centered up, and then I can just duplicate that same one by using command copy, command paste, or control copy, control paste, and using the same circle over and over again, but expand each one a little bit so you get these radiating shapes coming out. Kind of looks like a, a morning sun. Now at the bottom, I don't want to have just a boring block of yellow either, so let's try something else. So I can bring a triangle in from the shapes menu. I'm going to kind of kind of adjust the shape so it's not just a triangle. So I'm going to pick orange for this. That's too orange, so we can just drop the opacity down a little bit. There you go. The copy at the bottom needs to be adjusted a little bit. And now finally, I want to add little points like on a timeline to show this is what you do at each step in the morning. So I'm going to use blue to help complement the yellow and orange. All right, there we go. In just a few minutes, we made a quick and easy infographic using Lucid Press. If you have any questions, remember to leave them below. And to sign up for an account, just click on the link in the description. And then, of course, subscribe for more tutorials.